Hey guys, coming to you live from the bunker here, the reloading room. Um, this is going to be a support video to John, the MI Woodsman. Um, he's at 1,119 subscribers. He's having an appreciation giveaway. All you have to do is do something you like to do, basically. Um, go out, throw a knife, shoot your gun, sharpen a knife, whatever. Um, we're going to be doing something different. It's not going to be guns or knives or anything today. We just picked up that new smoker. We've been smoking a lot of food on it. So we're going to be doing a smoke out barbecue cook here at the compound today. Um, John, if I happen to win the prize, we're going to be doing some talking to see who that prize should go to. Like maybe one of your top um, commenters on your page. People that comment and click the like button the most. You know, someone you interact with a lot and all that good stuff. Um, so we're going to step out of the bunker right now and go outside. So today I got the tactical tray tip here with the r, &R barbecue sauce, mesquite barbecue sauce. I'm also going to be using the mesquite seasoning and injecting it with um, Martin's apple cider. We got the 50 cal bottle opener right here. Works like a charm. All you're going to do is stick your injector in here, pull up some apple juice, and start injecting your tactical tray tip here with a little Martinelli's apple juice. So let's get down to the smoker guys and take a peek at this process. So now that we're down at the 7-in-1 smoker, I got some mesquite wood chips right here. I'll be putting those in right now. The next step that's going in here is going to be your water. The water reservoir here to keep the meats nice and cool. Then you got a grill going on here. so. You can actually cook your meat down here as well. But I'm going to be cooking mine on top of the 7-in-1 smoker today. Boy, don't those look good. Um, tactical tray tip here, guys. Got one slab on there. The next slab's going on right now. With my mesquite rub and my mesquite barbecue sauce. Pour a little bit of juice on top of it all injected and everything so now that I got the flame lit and everything and I got the temperature set exactly where I want it to be it's smoking pretty good and we'll be coming back probably in about two hours to check these and see how they're smoking here on the smoker hey guys so I just popped off the lid we're looking at the tactical tray tip here again. It's smoking fairly nice. We got probably roughly, you know, two more hours on this. So we'll keep you up to date. Now these been cooking three hours. Um, I just added some more barbecue sauce. I'm going to add some more sweet mesquite seasoning to it. Just a little bit. Gives it that extra flavor, which is nice. Hey, if you haven't checked out the MI Woods men, go over to his channel and check him out. Click the subscribe button. He'll really appreciate it. So I always like to use a digital thermometer. Right now my reading on the meat is going to be at 154 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's the inside temperature of the meat, give or take, um, because it's on an open flame so it could be just a hair hotter right now so hey guys I just pulled out the tactical tray tips here um, I'm gonna cut one open to see what it looks like inside um, also I want all you guys to support the boobies it's breast cancer awareness month I know you all will um, this is the Kershaw leak right here Mmm, doesn't that look good? Look at the inside of that sucker. 
Thanks for watching guys. Um, please click the like, share our videos, and hit the subscribe button. We really appreciate you watching. Until next time, peace out guys.